students, how are you feeling right now? I hope that you are doing great in your home despite pandemic. I would like to introduce myself. I am Cherry Lu Sueco, your English teacher for the day. For today's discussion, we are going to tackle about types of adverbs. But before we go deeper to our discussion, let's define first what is adverbs. Adverbs provides information about the manner, place, time, frequency, or degree of action denoted by the verb, an adjective, or another adverb. The function of an adverb is determined by the question it answers. Adverbs are placed in a particular position according to their function in a sentence. And now, let's focus to our topic which is types of adverbs. There are five types of adverbs. These are adverb of manner, adverb of degree, adverb of place, adverb of time, and adverb of frequency. First is the adverb of manner. Tells how something is done or happens. We use it at the beginning or end of a sentence. For example, he gossips incessantly. Next is adverb of degree. Tells how much or to what extent something is done or happens. It modifies verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. We use it before the word it modifies. For example, I love my mother so much. The third one is adverb of place. Tells us where something is done or happens. We use it at the end of a sentence. For example, there is a fair nearby. Is adverb of time. Tells us when something is done or happens. We use it at the beginning or end of a sentence. For example, should we shut the shop now? Types of verbs is adverb of frequency. Tells how often or how many times something is done. We use it before the main verb or after the verb to be or between a helping verb and the main verb. For example, he often fights with me. Like adjectives, adverbs of manner, degree, and time have three degrees of comparison. Many adverbs cannot be compared at all. If the adverb is of one syllable, we form the comparative by adding er and the superlative by adding est. Adverbs ending in ly form the comparative by adding more and the superlative by adding most. Remember, students, that some adverbs form their comparative and superlative degrees in an irregular manner. I hope that you have learned something from our discussion types of adverbs. Again, I am Cherry Lusleko, your English teacher for today.